what's good. going on with you, man? Everything is cool. Everything is cool. Like well, you said, content. it's a pleasure to be here. It's a pleasure. Yes, yes, yes. Reading up a little bit of in- information on you, and of course, I'd like for you to, you know, let um, those listeners who are not familiar with the um, Soka Chutney Arena, I know that you started singing at the age of eight. So yeah. there's a long time you in this thing. Yeah. Actually, um, I'll tell yeah. you what. I've been doing this um, for a long time as a hobby. I-, I was actually raised being the only musician in my entire family. Yeah. So it was difficult for my parents to even think about me wanting to pursue music as like a full-time career. How did that happen though if everybody else doing something different? Oh, um, why music? Um, You know what? It was just, it was a genuine love and a passion that honestly I, I don't even have a logical explanation for. Uh, when I was a kid, like when I was like two, three years old, my favorite toy in the whole world was a little baby piano. And boy, I used to be running around playing with this little piano whole right, day. Right. And um, you know, my parents, they were always very close to me. They encouraged me to, to, go, down, um, to, to go down the correct path to keep me on the straight path. Um, I went to UWE, I graduated with my degree in 2011. I did a bachelor's degree um, in geomatics from the, the faculty of engineering. And um, I actually worked at TN Tech for five years. I had wow. a full-time job. Wow. And um, I did music as, as a side thing, as a hobby. And um, it reached a point where it became so demanding that I had to choose one. It was either do the full-time uh, music or do the full-time How did your parents TNTech. feel about that, seeing that well, you went whoa, to school and do all that? You know, <laughs> yeah, I mean, of course. Coming, coming, coming from a family that does not have a... Uh, that, 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 that is not a, like are surrounded by a band or doesn't yeah, have a lot yeah, of musicians. Yeah. So they don't understand difficult. it, yeah, they, right? don't, they don't understand mm. it, but... Um, Last year, I had the opportunity to play some, the, bless, the blessing I have to say, to play second in Chutney Soka Monarch. Yes, congratulations. Um, thank you very much. Mm-hmm. I appreciate that. Mm-hmm. So, um, you know, they, I think they, they began to see the potential in, um, in, in being able to, to, be, to be stable yeah. in music and, and um, you know, for there to be, for there to be a space for progress and, and room to improve and to, to, to be able to live a, a happy life and still be a family person all at once, you know, to be a, a well-rounded person. Right. Now, and, mm-hmm. I can't vex with their parents because they live a, a job like Tia and Tech. Bro, you're and telling me? Career, yeah, you know. nah, and this was trying this, to get in. This, this, is, to leave. this is in the middle of the recession when people complain about losing their jobs. Um, and, but right. literally, it took me no less than like six months to just like breaking the idea to them yo you know wow. i think i want to leave this job and do music full time it was a gradual um gradual increases but um right thankfully they've always supported me i, I always boast about having the best parents in the world such a wonderful blessing excellent and i think once um once everyone is a good parent if everybody had parents like mine trust me trinidad would be a wonderful wow. place mm. all the kids would be wonderful really? i can guarantee you so nishad <laughs> i know back in 2008 you were part of the big band trivini which is now um, KI uh, and, the band. and the band. So tell me a little bit of that experience with you being a part of the band. Yeah, um, you know what? Uh, KI, myself, and Nival Trader had the opportunity to meet for the first time back when I was seven years old. Right. And KI was eight <laughs> years old. But do you all remember wow. the, the, uh, the Mastana Bahar competition? I of course, of course. And back in the days, back in the days, if you can remember that some room, yeah, that's <laughs> pick up and say, and Sunda Capra. Mastana Bahar, boy. Yeah, and um, you know what? Um, we had the chance to meet back then. And um, we became friends, and it just so happened years later we met back up, and um, wow. we all ended up in the same band. It was a wonderful journey, though, a wonderful experience being a part of the band for the past uh, probably eight, nine years odd. Wow. I've had the, the opportunity to tour all over the world. I mean, experience different kinds of cultures, uh, meet different kinds of people, Amazing. and most importantly, to positively represent our culture. Yeah, really? yeah, so it's yeah, really been a yeah. wonderful experience, right. yeah, definitely. So I know you started off singing all those um, Bollywood classics when yeah, you were younger. Man. Then you lead into, of course, um, the band with Trevini and that experience with you traveling and everything and then bam you know you do your own thing and now you decide to get into the chutney soca so tell me a little bit about that transition um yeah uh, bollywood music is actually what i grew up loving that was my my, like, my favorite singer growing up was uh, kumar sanu and boy i love those <laughs> bollywood songs i used to sit down and watch their movies and um, when I joined the band, I was actually more or less forced into a position where I had to start doing uh, and dabbling with uh, different genres of music just right. by nature, the type of shows that we were doing. Right, right, right. And um, thankfully, I always had the guidance and the knowledge and the experience of, of, of the entire band. They are a really bunch of wonderful guys. We're like a family. Yeah. And they were always there to lend their support. And, um, you know, today I could stand on stage and I mean, I, I, I can boast about being able to, de- to deliver probably any genre of music you throw at mm. me. Seven you know? <laughs> Seven of them. Seven of them. Tell me, you know, you know, sometimes, you know, we hear the backstory where some people will tote a little bit because, you know, you're, as you mentioned, is a family, um, is a family group, is a family kind of setting and you grow with these people singing, traveling, doing all these things and then bam, you say, all right, I want to do my thing solo. How, how do people really feel? What really happened? Um, you know what? I think a part of being a family is wanting the best for each other. That is an important. You can't say a family. You know it doesn't happen you all the time. Well, yeah. you know, yeah, but thankfully, I mean, we have a wonderful team and we find a way to make it work. Yes, it's a bit challenging at times. Just like any other family, we have our, our ups and downs at times. 
But uh, we have a wonderful team, and at the end of the day, we find a way to make it work and for us to all move forward and to grow together. Wow. Maturity. Yeah, yeah, man. yeah, yeah, yeah. Of yeah, course, yeah. important. So, <laughs> tell me, I know you entered, of course, the uh, Chutney Sokamana competition, and of course, you said you placed um, third? So, actually, second. 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 I, my first year, I placed fifth, then the second year, I placed third. Right, so you went up the ladder. I went second after third. So. All right. Oh, yeah. So, what are you getting for this year, yeah. boy? Well, there's only one spot left to go in, now, because. Come on, better, better. <laughs> let, me tell you, let me tell you the kind of person I am. I do, I, maybe some people might say that this is the wrong approach. I don't go out there necessarily trying to win and be the, like beat everybody. I just want to improve myself, improve my game, improve my craft and what I do. And I've reached a point now where the only improvement to go from second is right, to go up, you know? Right, right. So, yeah, that's the, basically, that's what we're going for. Wow. We're going all in this year. All in, all in. All and out. of course, being in, 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 in the, um, and having that experience of the uh, Chutney Sokomanak, what would you say are some of the downfalls or some of the things that they need to fix in terms of the competition? Um, the competition really and truly is a wonderful platform for a lot of artists, especially right. the younger artists. And there's, there's no taking that away. I mean, just like everything else, we have our ups and downs. Within recent times, a lot of people have been talking about the, the topic of the Bollywood melodies and the overuse. Yes, yes. I'll tell you something. I have n- I have never entered the Chani Soka Monarch with a song that was a Bollywood melody. Every single song, they want to So you think fifth. that should be completely eliminated? I think, honestly, from a from a personal standpoint, I think it's important for the creativity and, 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 and just for the originality in the art form to be able to breathe as well. Right. And um, I think the place probably to start that is the Chani Soka Monarch because that's where the big money is. That's, that's what attracting everybody. Exactly. Mm. You know, but at the same time you have those who may argue that um that you know the bollywood melodies have been doing well and and they're absolutely right so to each his own and at the end of the day we all have to find a space that exists and do your own but thing and then some people would say but you know originality should you know be you know if, if i'm coming with something original and somebody using something that is there already and and you know the bias they would think is already there you know what i completely agree with you i think uh, originality is something that definitely has to be rewarded but at the same time it's unfair to, ju- to say just because I have an original song that I deserve more than somebody who has a Bollywood right. melody. Because oh, at the same really? time, you have to you have, you have to maintain some sort of musical appeal. People need to want to hear music, not just because you have an original song. And that is something I understand, and I've said it before. Yeah. I have chosen the path of doing original music, and that puts m- that puts me at a disadvantage. I understand that because right. over all the years, the songs that have been winning have been Bollywood melodies. And still, I wouldn't say, you know what? I'm going to jump in it and do a Bollywood melody because my... My journey and my mission is something completely different. It's, mm. it's bigger than just winning Chutney Soka Monarch. I mean, at the end of the day, we have to nurture our own art form. It does so much for us, but we have to be able to do for it as well. And we have to look out for it. Right. And something as simple as just keeping that originality alive when you have so many people who are asking for it. And in, in an industry where it's it's like it's starved of originality. It is, it is. I pride myself in being a person right. who puts in the extra work right. and always does original stuff. All mm-hmm. right, excellent, excellent point. Thank so, you. So <laughs> tell us, we reached 2017 now. Your brand new track for this year. Um, you know what? We have a few tracks to release this year, and yeah. um, we we spoke about the Chutney Soka thing, and um, being a part of Trevini, I've actually been able to jump into the Soka arena. So for you the feeling first about that, boy? Time. Yo, I can't <laughs> even explain to you how excited I'm about this track. Um, I've been wanting to do a Soka song for the longest while, like probably for years now so what was and, um, mark? you know what I, I always said you know what when the time is right I will get it done I could have done it before I could right. have got somebody to write a song go in a studio and do it but um, I wanted it to be at a point in time where I was like you know what I'm ready to, to, to go down this road because at the end of the day you can't just want to release a song there's a lot of hard work that goes in yeah, behind yeah, the scenes yeah, too yeah, of course. and you know now that I've taken this step to, uh, to pursue music full time this is the time where I think I'm going to just spread my wings and you're going to hear a lot more for those of you you're going to call me next time I promise <laughs> you you're going to remember you're going to remember oh gosh again again pong, again pong. <laughs> <laughs> <All right>. pong. <laughs> no but yeah um, actually this um, the Soka track um I headed out to Barbados and it was produced by Dangerous. Uh, for those of you who yeah, do, yeah, do, do yeah, not yeah, know yeah, Dangerous, yeah. that's one of Marshall's keyboarders. Mm-hmm. Super talented guy. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And I'm um, really and truly, I just, I wanted that that island ship and that vibe kind of, that, that kind of feel. And uh, it was written by Drea and Emmanuel Rudder. Uh, you know, Drea, another really talented and co- upcoming writer. Yes. And um, we ended up with a wonderful way. You know, we had the, um, the next one lineup first where we talk about the soccer. We had a buzz after. That one is ID. Idea. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Tell us about idea. Yeah, idea is just a, it's just a pure fun and pure vibe song. When you listen to the lyrics, the groove, everything is just it's just you could picture yourself chipping behind the truck on the road, juvie morning. So what's the inspiration be, 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 um, with idea? Um, honestly, th- this was a song that was pitched to me by Drea because I've been telling her for a while, you know, that uh, that I want to uh, I want to uh, to put out a soca song, and she sent me a couple of songs. And from the time I heard this one, I was like, yo, this yeah, is the one. We took it and we ran with it and. Fantastic. All right. Well, let's wait, not waste any more time. Nishad M. Yeah, thank you. This is track one of three, yeah? Yeah. I did. Let me go. I did. We all did. Yeah, it's a long time I'm waiting for this feeling to jump out. I like this CD, boy. My hands in the air, I'm taking over tongue now. 
I drink in Stagger it feeling like a drunk now Miss a rose go drunk now Miss a rose go drunk Just give me more vibes My hands in the air Bets in time we don't play Time for work and we still right there Once it's a vibes Once it's a vibes Wherever you is Once Get it show your hands in the air Everybody in the studio too no Show your hands so Once it's a bacchanal You know I did Once it's a plenty girl you know I did. Once it's a Ojo, hey, and you know that's why I did. I did, I did, I did, I did. With my friends, them two days in the sun, we not turning down no way. Things start and we ready, we patrol in the town, we not turning down today. We up in a chili party, hey. and the things on the flow, drinking with everybody. I saga in through the crowd yeah. And this is the plan with a bottle in my hand Now nah ballin' drink now nah boy Drink now nah boy Drink now nah boy I can't get Tommy saying something so Drink now nah boy Drink now nah boy boy Drink now nah boy Drink now nah boy Say drink now nah boy Drink now nah boy Take a drink now nah boy Drink now nah boy Say drink now nah boy Boy Yeah man, yeah man <laughs> You know my cup never empty I fallin' down and I proud <laughs> My driver outside already yeah. But I still up in a cloud <laughs> And this is the plan with a Bottle in my hand I fallin' Drink now boy Drink now boy Drink now boy Drink now boy Yes boy Drink now boy Come boy Drink now boy Drink now boy Drink now boy Drink now boy Vibes, vibes Yes, yeah, boy. Boy. Yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. We come out to kill them, boy. Yeah, like it. Yeah, boy. Yeah. <laughs> when I hear the first one, I say, all right, all right, all right. Step then this one, one and two, boy. I'm telling you. You're chipping. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, when you yeah, reach yeah, up yeah. on the truck already. When you reach up on the truck. Drink now, boy. And what does happen when you reach on the truck now? It's all kind of people whining and pelting ways. Well, I just bap out, but some, uh, I know what that people is. <laughs> <laughs> some girls be on the truck with their man. Some girls be single. But um, when you reach on the truck now, is where they start to call me Mr. Take Your Girl. Huh? You're lie, ah! you're so this weekend, inside of here? this weekend, this song is going to be at the semi-finals of Chutney. So come on, our gang and South. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. So yeah. let me take it in, Mr. Take Your town. Girl. Yeah. yeah. Since you do so, the letter of Michi Man. Listen, you go here. <laughs> Not my intention, <laughs> but for some reason. I don't know. I cannot understand. I make she leave she man. <laughs> I make she leave she man. You're talking like you from South or two, you know. You're I have. Yeah. Like, like yeah. a feel a drum. I feel so. I feel a drum. Hear what they calling? No, they calling me Mr. Take a girl. Mr. Take a girl. Mr. Take a girl. Hey. Soca streaming live on the Ojo app. Right? Right? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, yeah. hey. I, I feel you born and bred in sour, you know, I feel so. My first one, this one was a song on sour. My intention, but for some reason, I cannot understand. I make she leave she man. Hey. Yeah, I make she leave she man. I make she leave she husband. What they call it? No, they call it me. Mr. Take a girl, Mr. Take a girl, Mr. Take a girl. Now they call it. Hey. Is that innocent for that? Because here, what has really happened? Eh? Let me hear. Uh, Explain to me. She leave the man out in the rain, in the rain. Lie. But <laughs> I hope he takes she back again, back again. Yes, boy. Cause she change up the plan. I cannot understand. I make she leave she man. <laughs> I make she leave she man. That's why. I evil that. I evil that one. I make she leave she. <laughs> when they call him Tommy, no, they call him me, Mr. Take a girl. Mr. Take a girl. Mr. Take a girl. No, they call him. No, they call him me. This is the one you're gonna hit them with. This is the one we hit in the semi-finals, but wow. you can never tell it. My change in the finals, yeah, 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 yeah. you know. But and I think it's all about the reception you get, the yeah. feeling, the vibes. Yeah, don't go with that. And you yeah. know what? After that, you know, at the same time, um, I have a brand new video for Mr. Take Girl that is coming out over the weekend. Wow. And um, this is actually my first ever full official music video, so something oh. exciting and new to look forward man. to. And I'll tell you something. 
I've been waiting to do it for such a long time, yeah. and this video is not going to disappoint. This ain't well, your average Chutney Soka video. Right, trust me. Right. So I urge everyone to, to, uh, to follow me up on Instagram at yeah. nishad.m, mm -hmm. Facebook like the Nishad M page. And, um, you know, they're going to be able to keep abreast of everything that's happening for the season. We what about bookings season. and stuff like that? Where do they, um, who do they contact? Uh, for bookings, you can contact Now Entertainment at 730-6344 or 350-5344. And what about for the carnival season? Where people can check you out? Um, you know what? For carnival, we have a wonderful season lined up. We had breakfast in some of the banners at uh, uh, Mania, yeah, yeah, yeah. Jamboree. Mm. We had QRC. We had, um... We had Chutney Brass, we had I Love Choker. Um, I Love Choker. Yeah, man. So uh, a, 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 a lot of nice things, Rotary, all inclusive. Right. A couple of the other uh, uh, all inclusive parties. And we up in it, man. We up in yeah, it. Trust me. Only doing it hard. Can't even go be nice. What are our most dark songs? So you started at 8 7. How I started singing at 8 7, yeah. How long in the game? How long? Um, I've been, I would say, uh, I've been a, an active part of the industry since I joined the band, probably like eight years now. Right. So right. But really right. taking right. it great to really, to really yeah. say, uh, to take it seriously as a career. A year and a half, maybe. Wow. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. Because it was, it was just a hobby then. Sometimes a whole year pass on me, I throw out a track and it don't bother me because I'm just but, doing but it for love, quick, you know? But a quick question too. Sure. With you saying that you've been in it for a year and a half, how do you think your counterparts have been in it longer than that? Do they feel a how? Anybody kind of feel a how? Say, well, she don't come. Hold on, boy. Well, well, true. We well, true. well, like I said, I've been around for a while, but for myself, it's been a, it's been a, a, a turning point for me. Uh, I would say about a year and a half ago when I decided to make that step to do it full yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. But I've been around. I mean, I, I have wonderful counterparts and friends in the industry. Um, You know, there's a lot of love and a lot the camaraderie that goes around so um we all friends man we all friends at the end of the day and we all in this for the same reason to take the music to the world excellent man you mm -hmm. have three nice things here boy thank you thank three you nice thank thing. you blessings nice blessings thing, blessings thank you so man. much thanks for having me not a problem definitely like the drink yeah. now boy drink you like the drink now boy <laughs> drink. <laughs> drink i feel in all of them you can never tell i, like, I love anymore. the last one too it's kind of hard for me to choose yeah. <laughs> well, you know what? That's a good position to be in. When you're, these, these songs are good and you don't know which ones are like yeah. more than the other. Yeah, That's yeah, a good yeah, position. Yeah. So I'll Drink take that as a couple. <laughs> <laughs> Drink that boy. Drink that boy. <laughs> well, all right. That was Nishad M mm -hmm. who passed through with us inside the studio today. And of course, you know, all the chutney, soca, all the bacchanal, everything that happened, you know you're going to get it here. Don't forget to check out the um the Ojo TTRN channel a little bit later to see this interview and all the others. Simply sign up, check it out. And yeah, be yeah. inside one time.